Hi there, this is Ozer from Team Nile. Welcome to the fourth episode of our closed loop automation demo series. In the first episode, my colleague Shiv showed us how to build a solid foundation for enterprise connectivity by completely automating the design and installation process for wired and wireless networks. In the following two episodes, Depen and Karthik demonstrated how the Nile Access Service proactively addresses potential wireless and wired issues without the long hours of manual troubleshooting. In this episode, we'll discuss how to quickly resolve any software issues. Our team writes great software, no doubt, but occasionally we also face bugs. As you might appreciate, how fast we detect, react, and work towards a resolution is as important as the resolution of the problem at hand. Before we get started, here's a quick reminder on our unique innovation principles. With an as-a-service mindset, we share the responsibility for your success by offering industry's first-level guarantee for coverage, capacity, and availability. Our agile cloud software development model allows you to move at the speed of the cloud without having to worry about operational burden for your enterprise network infrastructure. A single integrated data model across all components of the Nile Access Service powers our AI to automate network operations and not just rely on it to simply summarize your task list from reports and dashboards. In a second here, my colleague Karthik will show you how we automate detection and resolution of software issues within the Nile Access Service. But here is a quick recap of how it is all handled within the traditional network infrastructures. It can be summarized as significant amount of time wasted. After the network performance is impacted, IT teams rush to figure out where the issue might be. Long hours of troubleshooting do not yield much results, and they are forced to open a support ticket with their product vendor. Shortly after the first touch with the vendor support team, they are asked to share configuration and log files, their current network design and topology, and many other details. This back and forth information sharing continues for weeks as the vendor support and engineering teams try to figure out what's going on. Once they identify a potential software bug fix, customers start waiting for the next software release cycle. This might take months since the traditional networks rely on a monolithic software development model instead of the modern and agile cloud software delivery. After the long wait, the real fun begins for the customers to upgrade their entire system for the potential bug fixes and see if it all goes back to normal. I'm sure you're feeling the same way. This entire process sounds exhausting. So let's see how the Nile Access Service is changing things for the better. Karthik, over to you. In this example, one of the access points experienced an unusual increase in number of packet discards. We will see how Nile automatically corrects the situation. After successful installation, the Nile Services Cloud creates a digital twin of the topology. Smart agents deployed in Nile network elements continuously collect the telemetry data. They stream the collected data to Nile Services Cloud. The collected data includes process information, system information, protocol information, etc. This telemetry data hydrates the digital twin. It updates various attributes of the digital twin, such as the interface, CPU, memory, etc. In this example, cognitive decisions detected an anomaly in number of interface discards in one of the access points. Cognitive decisions updates the access points digital twin with the anomaly. It then searches for existing software issues that match the signature of the problem. This is where the intelligence comes in. After finding the matching issue, it raises an alert in Nile Autopilot capturing all the information. Cognitive decisions also takes a corrective remedial action by either rebooting the access point or redirecting the traffic towards a different access point. It also automatically informs the customer success manager and the customer about the need to update the access point software. Customer success manager then works with the customer to set up a maintenance window to update the access point software. After the access point software is updated with the fix, the digital twin is updated to reflect the latest software in the access point. Detecting the spike in the interface discards, rebooting the access point, attaching the matching ticket, and restoring the network to its original behavior after the upgrade achieves the closed loop automation. This entire process happens in the background without the IT administrator or the end user knowing about it. Now let's go to the demo. This is the Nile Autopilot application that shows an AP software issue causing interface discards at one of our customers. This is the digital twin of their network. 
there are several sensors, access points, access switches, distribution switches, and head ends. This is the active head end. The digital twin is continuously hydrated by the telemetry data received from the network. The telemetry data that is corresponding to this incident comes from the interfaces minutes data source. The in discord stream contains the actual discards data. In this incident, the Ethernet zero interface of AP144 is experiencing an increase in interface discards. The dynamic threshold based anomaly detection capability in the cognitive decisions module in Nile Services Cloud detects an unusual spike in the interface discards. The cognitive decisions module immediately raises an alert, which is what we are seeing here. The alert contains all the useful information such as name of the customer, the location, the AP name, the interface name, the alert severity, and the time at which the incident happened. The cognitive decisions module addresses the situation by either rebooting the access point or redirecting the clients to a different access point. The cognitive decisions module also searches for a software issue with a signature that is similar to that of this incident. After finding the match, the cognitive decision module attaches that software ticket with this incident. Later, after addressing the situation by upgrading the software of the access point, the cognitive decisions module closes the alert. The detection of spike in the interface discards and rebooting the access point and attaching the matching software issue and restoring the in network to its original behavior achieves the closed loop automation. All of this happens in the background without the IT administrators or the end users knowing about it. Hey Karthik, thank you. What a great way to demonstrate how we are helping IT teams save significant amount of time managing software improvements across their infrastructure. And thank you for tuning in. Hope you found this demo relevant to your environment. We are looking forward to continuing the conversation at nilesecure.com. In the meantime, be sure to check out the other episodes in our demo series, highlighting how the Nile Access Service utilizes closed loop automation powered by AI to tackle network design and install wireless coverage and wired link issues and system software upgrades.